What is up, people? I got the ghetto set up right now, like I always do. I just have like a fucking bunch of fucking books stacked up. I got my fucking phone on there. And I'm gonna do a video. Someone uh, asked me, um, a few people asked me what type of uh, music that I'm into. And music is a huge, huge part of my life. And it is uh, like, pro it's, it's the reason that I turned out how I, <laughs> how I am, for better or for worse. You know what I mean? Like, I, um, I can't lie. Um, my whole adult life has just been, um, drugs, uh, running around, causing a ruckus, and just fucking shit up, I guess. You know what I mean? I'm trying to, I'm trying to chill, you know what I mean? I'm definitely on a watch list from fucking, um, like I, like I said, when I was, uh, younger, I got in trouble for some for some crazy shit that, like, will have me on a watch list for the rest of my life. Um, and definitely making these videos, uh, telling people how they should, uh, fight against the system and, you know, do all these type of, uh, activities and shit. Um, government, the NSA, probably doesn't like that too much. But you know what? I don't give a fuck and I'll deal with the consequences if they happen. You know what I mean? Because I really feel strongly about this shit that I'm talking about. Big time. Um, it's a huge part of my life. Um, but anyways, um, I'm gonna talk about music a little bit. Um, so how I got into the type of music that I'm into was basically through skateboarding. You know, I was a, a really good skateboarder. Um, I, you know, I was like winning all types of competitions and shit. And I would just go to the park. I would get hella fucked up every day. <laughs> they they banned me from the skate park a million times. Like, multiple skate parks. Because I would, like, go there with a 40. And be drinking a 40 and shit. And, and, you know, like, getting fucked up while I'm skating. And, like, going and, like, you know. You know, I was friends with everyone, you know. And I was, like, kind of friends with the staff. But, you know, in a way that was kind of, like, confrontational, I guess. Um... <laughs> And, uh, they, they, it, it, it was stupid, you know what I mean? Like, they wanted me to wear a helmet, and I, I just didn't want to, you know what I mean? And I, I know how to fall when you, you're a skateboarder. Um, it, it, it's good to wear a helmet, but, um, when you know how to fall, and you know how to bail, that's something that you learn, um, from skating. Um, so, especially, um, Watching a lot of the escape videos, they used to have uh, parts that was just a slam section. And the slam section would usually have, like, uh, a really sick soundtrack. You know what I mean? Like, something like like heavy, you know, fast punk, uh, metal, shit like that. Um, I remember watching a 411, 411 video magazine back in the day, VHS. And one of the... Um, like, advertisements, they had, uh, the Misfits playing, they had, uh, Wolf's Blood off of Earth AD, and, you know, that was, like, their fast, aggressive, you know, like, crunchy type of shit that I just loved, you know, and then I saw another one that had Bad Brains on it, so, um, I started listening to, to Bad Brains, I started listening to a lot of bands, like, for, uh, from the 70s, um, and a lot of old school hardcore, um, like, Black Flag, um, SSD, um, Discharge, uh, shit like that. A lot of, um, Anarcho-Punk, uh, Cross-Punk, uh, then I got into Grindcore, Death Metal, Power Violence, uh, bands like, uh, Infest, uh, there's a lot of, uh, new bands, uh, like Sex Prisoner is a good one. Um, Cave State is a, another great power violence band. Um, a lot of good, um, melodic crust, like His Hero Is Gone. You know, I got a patch from them right here. They're from, uh, Memphis, Tennessee, and they play, um, uh, melodic crust. And then they also are members of another band called Tragedy that is fucking awesome. I, I got to see them live. Um, you know, there's a video of it. We're all fucking moshing, everyone. It, it, it was just the best time, you know what I mean? But um, His Hero Was Gone, Tragedy. Uh, then there's bands like Ikaya. It's like E-K-K-A-Y-A. -K -K 
AIA is a is a really good melodic crust band. And there's also a lot of really good black metal bands, you know, like I have Mayhem, um, classic black metal. A lot of people know the story of Mayhem, but don't really like know the music. Um, and then I got on my back, I got uh, Capitalist Casualties, who's a, a power violence band from um, California. Uh, they're really sick, great political um hardcore power violence um plutocracy has a, a great uh album called sniping pigs um so yeah i got into a lot of that uh grindcore bands like uh discordance axis is a really fucking good one like the the music like discordance axis is like what it would sound like if you just set off a fucking bomb in a bank and started fucking firing into the crowd and just fuck, or firing into the fucking ceiling and the alarms going off and shit and then you just fucking rob the bank and out of there. It's the type of music that makes you want to do shit like that. So it was great to listen to while I was skating because it would just make me want to fucking jump down shit and not give a fuck if I like died, you know what I mean? So Discordant Saxis is really good. Um, Pig Destroyer. Uh, has members of uh, that band. Uh, they're really good. They're pretty well known. Uh, they were actually in like a Tony Hawk's Pro Skater game once. Um, it was a song that didn't really have like blast beats, so it didn't really. It wasn't like the type of music that they they usually play. Um, I I also was really into crust bands like um, Doom. Um, D-beat bands like Disclose from Japan is just straight up fucking D-beat, like so fucking loud, so fucking crunchy, so fucking noisy. Uh, they're, they're fucking great. And, and their, their singer died of a drug overdose. I'm trying to think of his name, but, uh, yeah, he's definitely one of my heroes. And all these bands are very political. They, uh, most of them are, are anarchist and they anti-war and sing anti-war songs you know what i mean especially you know being from japan you know having like the bombings of hiroshima and nagasaki if that doesn't radicalize you then then what will um then you know i i got into black metal bands like uh wolves in the throne room uh are really good that's it's more like atmospheric black metal um there's fuck what are some other atmospheric black metal bands um so many of these bands i just have names like that are um you know like icelandic or swedish there's a shitload of good bands from sweden uh anti simex is a, a a great band i got uh a patch from them right here victims of a bomb raid um for newer shit full of hell i get to see them a couple times I accidentally drank piss out of a fucking beer bottle at that show, um, but it was worth it. And then I fucking found like a fucking full of hell patch that I got on my back and I've had it for so long that it's just, you can't even tell what it is. You know, it just is basically like a black fucking thing, which, you know, means that like fucking I wear this a lot. I fucking go out a lot and fucking when you go to shows, you're in Michigan shit and, um, for people that don't understand, like, moshing, there's, like, rules to this shit. You know what I mean? Um, a lot of times when it, it's a punk band, it's a circle pit. Uh, I try to start a circle pit whenever possible. You know what I mean? I'll fucking uh, go stage dive. And when you're up on stage, just fucking go like this. Or fuck when you're in the crowd, just start going like this. And then, like, fucking start a fucking circle pit best time ever and a lot of the times uh when it's uh grindcore or power violence it's more of like a side to side type of, of moshing uh there's a lot of really great hardcore bands around right now uh gulch is fucking great check them out they're from cali um they play it's it's almost power violence but not really um that, another band that's like that that really changed the way that they they played is is ceremony uh, their early shit is power violence, and then they went to more 
almost like indie now. Trash Talk is another band that's really good that was playing power violence and then started kind of playing like slower shit, you know, less blast beats and shit like that. Um, so, yeah, it, and I also love hip hop. You know what I mean? I, I love uh, Suicide Boys. Check them out. They're from New Orleans. Um, one of them was like a punk. The other one is just like a criminal and a junkie. And I fucking love it. Um, you know, <laughs> fucking, he, he was a heroin addict. So I relate to him on that a lot. Um, yeah, I probably should have made a list or some shit. And, you know, I have so much shit on my phone for music on my Spotify. I have so much fucking music on that shit. It's ridiculous. But uh, a lot of the hip hop I listen to is uh, shit like Memphis, uh, like dark hip hop, like Three Six Mafia, uh, Project Pat, Juicy J, uh, shit like that. Uh, Dead Prez uh, is a great political uh, hip hop band. Um, it, and then you know I I also like bands like like Title Fight. You know what I mean? Like, bands that are less, you know, like, hard. They're a little bit more melodic, a little bit more slow, kind of more closer to, like, uh, pop punk hardcore. You know what I mean? Um, and I just try to enjoy whatever music that I listen to. You know what I mean? When I'm in jail, I always have my fucking headphones in. Um, and I listen to just whatever, like, the latest you know, hits are, you know, like top 40 shit, you know, and, and I, I start to love a lot of the, the, that music. And then whenever I hear it, it, it brings me back to those times, you know what I mean? And they were hard times, but looking back on them, you always look back on shit that, and you think that it's better than it actually is. But as far as uh, like political uh, music goes, definitely... Uh, power Violence is a great genre, Crust Punk, Anarcho Punk, um, bands like Crass, um, Conflict, shit like that. Um, definitely, like I said, a huge fan of bands like uh, His Hero is Gone, Tragedy, uh, Melodic Crust. Um, I love death metal, bands like Autopsy um, are fucking amazing. Um, and yeah, I probably should have like ripped <laughs> wrote a bunch of these down uh but you know i'm just like fuck it i'm gonna make a video i'm you know i'm i'm kicking heroin um i fucking i took like a bunch of gabapentin to try to like you know like feel a little bit better you know it kind of gives me some energy and shit like that so um yeah it i i also like uh, a lot of bands like or, or projects like um crystal castles uh or uh, soft kill, um, like dark wave type shit. Boy Harsher is, is a great one. Uh, just bands that, you know, have like dark, sad type of music. I, I, I just, I love that shit. And I love music that makes me really fucking angry. Um, trying to think about any genres that I might have missed there's so many subgenres of this shit i really like r-a-b-m red and anarchist black metal um I, I also like bands like burzum um and which is a one-man project by uh, a dude named varg vickerness who was involved with mayhem uh he burned a bunch of churches he's like a fucking nazi now he has a YouTube channel, which is fucking hilarious. It's just all, like, just the most cringeworthy shit that you can imagine. He's, like, obsessed with, like, that trad shit, you know what I mean? But, hey, you gotta separate the uh, music from the artist. Uh, I'm trying to think of some of the best shows that I went to. Um, I got to see this band uh, called Leftover Crack, who um, used to be in a band called Choking Victim. Uh, they're, they're very political. They're awesome. They play a, a genre called crack rock because, you know, they're a bunch of junkies and, and squatters and shit like that. I got to see them a couple times. I got to see them with subhumans. Uh, I got to see them once in the show got shut down. I actually got to see them three times. One of the times the show got shut down by the cops because they're super anti-cops. Uh, they hate the fucking police. They, they sing about it all the time. And the cops will literally shut down their fucking shows. Um, 
but yeah, classic punk, like, like, subhumans, like I was saying, uh, uh, it's fucking great, um, trying to think of, like, what band shirt I'm wearing right now, like, like, all I wear usually is, like, band shirts, you know what I'm saying, um, some shit from my area that is really good, um, Body Void is a really sick, it's like a sludge, uh, it's an anti-fascist band, uh, they have a really good song called Fascist Cancer, um, Ram Lord is a great band, they're, they're black and crust, um, I was actually locked up with the, the front man from that band, I'm really good friends to him to, to this day, we got out of jail and, and we got high as fuck together at this dude's house, and the dude ended up uh, dying, unfortunately, which is, a, it's a normal thing for me. Like, I've seen people die right in front of me um, multiple times, um, and, it, and, it, and, it, and it, it fucks you up. But you, you get hardened to this shit after you are uh, into it for a while, you know what I mean? So, seeing my roommate get carried out after I found his fucking dead body... Um, I actually kicked in the bathroom door because I, I was knocking on the door. The shower was there. No one was answering. I was with another housemate. We just look at each other and instantly just kick the door open. We see the dude. He's on the ground. We see the needle. We see the shit. We start doing, we put him in the recovery position, start doing the sternum rub. Uh, we took, we, we were Narcanning him like crazy. Always carry Narcan. I actually, my first day working at Dunkin' Donuts, um, this kid that I was locked up with overdosed in the bathroom and the bathroom was locked and I kept saying, we need to open the bathroom, we need to open the bathroom and they weren't listening to me so I went and I took a card and I opened the lock and sure enough, we see this kid fucking like on the ground in there, you know, and, and we, you know, called the ambulance and shit and he survived that day but he, he ended up dying later and we actually found his dope and this chick that I was with was also um, into, into dope and shit like that. So we took the dope that this kid just died from and we shot it together. And then we're like, hey, let's go get high as fuck tonight. So we went and then we went to um, this place called the Methadone Mile in downtown Boston. Uh, we got like a bunch of, of dope, a bunch of meth and shit like that. We ended up... Uh, hanging out in the graveyard, we ain't fuck, but we, like, fucked around and shit, um, we got high as fuck, and then in the morning, we, we, like, slept in a graveyard, and then in, or, or we ain't really sleep, and then, like, in the morning, we were coming off the shit, we had to go downtown, we had to buy the shit, and this girl, she, like, it, it's crazy when you see people that are, like, have really bad addictions, and you see them when they're sober, and then you see them when they're using. This girl started tricking herself out for drugs. She was, like, literally sucking dudes off for dope. And I was like, thank God that I ain't fucked this chick. You know what I mean? Because I was, like, I was ready to raw dog her in the, in the cemetery. But for some reason, I decided not to. But, yeah, music. <laughs> Fucking... Yeah, I, you know, I, I just like to support local bands and shit. Going to basement shows are the best. Um, going to DIY venues, you know, just if you have a basement that's open and uh, you have electricity in there, fucking start, a, start having shows from your basement. You know what I'm saying? Those are the funnest shows. You know what I mean? And it a lot of times it has like a suggested donation um, so, like, you don't really have to pay, but you should. I always pay because I want to support the bands. And, you know, shit is starting to happen again because COVID is, like, it looked like it was ending, but now it's coming back. But I, I still want to go to shows as much as possible because, you know, I like to be a part of the scene. I like to be friends with these people. Like, you make really good friends with the people that are in the music scene. And a lot of them are are very political. The, the the punk scene is is extremely political. A lot of leftists, a lot of communists, a lot of anarchists, a lot of socialists, um, and shit like that. And we police our own community. You know, if we see someone doing f something fucked up, then 
we don't call the cops. We just fucking beat their ass and fucking throw them outside. You know what I mean? And say, like, you're fucking, you can't come here anymore. You know what I mean? And then if they do come again, then they just get beaten up. So, say what you want about that, but, hey, it is the way that it is. You know, we don't like cops coming into our communities because cops will shut these places down. There was a really cool place in Boston, and it was, like, this building, and it, it like, wasn't made for people to live in, but a bunch of people started living in it, and it was kind of, like, almost like a squat. <laughs> I got scabies from fucking hanging out in this place. It was called a rec center. And there would be um, multiple uh, concerts going on at the same time. You go into one room, you, they got a punk band playing. You go to another uh, room, like right down the corner, they got a hardcore pl band playing. You go to another room, they get a rave. We do with like fucking research chemicals, getting all fucked up, tripping out and shit like that. And it was a great time. And unfortunately, that place got shut down. But definitely try to... Try to do the shit on your own, you know, because that's what it's all about. It's DIY. Do it yourself. Fucking don't wait for someone to do it for you. Start having shows at your house. Start having shows at your basement. Start having shows in your backyard. Um, try to find a fucking venue. And, and that's how you do it. You can't rely on the clubs and all this shit like that. You know what I mean? And, and that's why I really love the punk scene and I'm very proud to be a part of it. And uh, it's it's a it's a really cool community, and we really look out for each other. Um, I try not to bring hard drugs around these places. You know what I mean? Um, in the punk scene, like there's there's a lot of straight edge kids, but there's also a lot of people that have drug problems or had drug problems. And so a lot of my friends that are in that scene are are in recovery. So I try not to go there. You know, I've been a heroin addict for ten years. So. Um, it, it, and I, I wouldn't really like hide it, you know what I mean? Because that's just the way that I was, you know? I wasn't going to fucking pretend to be someone that I wasn't, you know what I mean? But I would try not to bring it around people that didn't want to fucking have that shit around, you know what I'm saying? And so, and now, you know, I, I'm, I'm trying to quit this shit, but, um, yeah, don't, um... Don't bring it around in your scene. You know what I mean? It's not a good thing. We, we want fucking positive vibes only in the music scene. And uh, that's a great way to get politically active, too. A lot of these places, they set up shit where people will make shit and sell it. They'll have, like, a lot of, like, uh, booths with, like, pamphlets uh, about, you know, uh, animal rights, um, it, you know, shit like that. Um, earth first type shit, um, and a lot of just like political, like pamphlets, you know what I mean? Like that you would see back in the day. Um, and it, it's still alive, you know, like underground zines and shit like that. So definitely try to get involved in your local punk scene. It's a great way to organize. It's a great way to meet friends. And like I say, I listen to all types of music. I fucking love hip hop. I listen to like whatever, you know what I mean? Whatever sounds good. But like I said, I'm I'm very much into uh, crust, grindcore, hip hop, black metal, death metal, all that shit. Um, but yeah, you know, I probably should have had a script for this. I like going off script, you know what I mean, and just start talking about uh, falling off of buildings, p getting your dick cut off, fucking uh, smoking crack with uh, randos and shit like that fucking i was so one day i was fucking walking down the street in this like very bad drug area and this fucking kid comes across the street to me he's like hey you want to do some meth i'm like fuck yeah dude let's go so i go we fucking shoot some meth and this kid starts going digging through the dumpster right when he goes in the dumpster he finds a fucking scale in a box i have it fucking right here fucking and it's crazy because, you know, it's it's a drug-related thing. And it was fucking brand new in the box. And I'm like, yeah, I'll fucking take that shit. He ain't want it. But, uh, yeah, that was weird. But, yeah, meth heads a lot of times are sketchy. And they'll just want to come and just do drugs with someone just to be around them. And uh, I actually ended up getting high. I did the meth. And for some reason, meth chills me out. Because I really have ADD. So I ended up walking. And I ended up falling asleep next to the graveyard. 
The cops get called on me. I get taken to the hospital. I get, you know, thrown out of the hospital and just, it was all bad. I had just gotten out of jail at that point too. Literally like days before. And it was, I was so pissed off that I, I went to jail for like no reason. I got in a fight in the psych ward. So they sent me to this place that's like a jail where you don't need to be charged with anything. You, you just have to be an addict and they send you to jail to try to rehabilitate you. And what happens is people go there, they lose their tolerance and they go and they get in the street and they get high. And I lost some of my best friends that way. And it's really fucked up to do that because you're making it like a lot like easier for people to die. But yeah, so um, those are some great genres to check out. If you uh, are looking for some political music to get you fucking pissed off, to get you fucking ready, to get you fucking out there, ready to fucking go rob a fucking bank, ready to go fucking burn some shit down, ready to go fuck shit up. And uh, yeah, so I really went off the cuff on this one, you know what I'm saying? But uh, people were asking for it. You know, I wish that I had more like names of bands that I could give you. But uh, you just want to check out these genres, and then when you go on Spotify and you check out a lot of these bands, then you see a lot of other bands that are similar, and you can go from there. You know, there's so much great hardcore out right now. And, uh, you know, there's multiple genres of hardcore, and, you know, I like hardcore punk. I also like hardcore that is, like, more like metal, or more like grindcore, you know, like, like that band Gulch that I was talking about before is fucking amazing. But yeah, I just figured I'd make a short video. You know, I'm feeling like shit. I got a bunch of money on me. I could go get high, but I'm really, really trying not to. You know what I mean? And, and it's, it's very, very difficult. Very, very difficult. Now I'm just fucking in the vape zone. That's all I got for fucking uh, drugs right now. Other than like the gabapentin that I take. You know, we call them Johnnies. And you take them, they give you a lot of energy and shit like that. To uh, get up and clean and, and get shit done. Uh, so, you know, I'll pop like fucking 10 of those fucking things. And be fucking flying. But, uh, yeah, I wouldn't recommend it. <laughs> I've been a fucking drug addict for over half my life and it's led me to a lot of very very bad very dark places and it's very very hard to get out of because i became addicted to the lifestyle of getting up going out getting money getting the shit and just living like that on the fringes of society and uh that really appeared appealed to me even like being homeless doing drugs, I ain't mind it because I was fucking high all the time and there was always something going on. We were always running from the cops, you know, getting in fights with people, fucking uh, boosting like crazy and uh, shit like that. And so I'm trying to get out of that fucking lifestyle right now. And it's really, really hard, you know, because I, uh, I haven't had a real job in a while. I, you know, I get a bunch of felonies and shit like that. Uh, I really want to get into the medical field, it's something that I've always wanted to do ever since I was a kid. So hopefully I can get sober. Um, or, you know, I'm not trying to quit everything. You know, if I had some like molly right now or some acid, some mushrooms, I would take that shit in a minute because I don't have a problem with that. You know what I mean? I can do that and I can put it down. But with heroin, it's it, fentanyl is completely different. Once I start doing that, I'm on a fucking run and I'm not stopping until I get arrested or go into into treatment or into a psych ward or some shit like that. But uh, that's what I'm trying to stay out of. And it's very, very, very fucking difficult. It's very difficult, you know, trying to like go to AA meetings, but they're, they're not really happening. Um, I went to one recently and started talking with this dude. We, we started talking about books, started talking about Noam Chomsky and uh, like radical literature and shit like that. So um, it, that, that, that's, it's a really good program. A lot of people don't like it because of the, the God aspect, but half the people in there don't even believe in that shit anyways. You know what I mean? I like recently I've gotten so desperate that I fucking have gotten on my knees and prayed 
to just help stop the fucking pain. Because, you know, my, my liver's completely fucked. Um, oh God. And, and, you know, I got a, 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 pr a prescription to, to cure the, the hepatitis. And I fucking, like, lost half of it. And that is, like, tens of thousands of dollars for those pills. Like, they're very, very expensive. So it's like, you get it one chance to do it. And if that doesn't work, then you're fucked. And so that might be the position that I'm in. And if that's the position that I'm in, I'm going to be fucking out there running. I'm going to be out there getting fucked up. And I'm going to be out there causing a fucking ruckus until I fucking drop dead. I'm going to live fast and I'm going to die young. Um, that's like been like the way that I've been living ever since I was a, a kid. And uh, when you get older, it gets it, it gets a lot harder. But it's it's very hard to get out of the lifestyle. Um, but the punk scene is a very positive scene. You know, you've got people that have your back in there. So, uh, get involved with your local scene. Uh, try to organize the people that are there. Um, people are very open to the types of ideas that I talk about on this channel. Um, I, I know that I did a video about the punk scene before, but I, I wanted to do another one. And I wish that I had, like, a lot more, uh, bands to drop. But, uh, I just, my mind is kind of foggy right now, but, yeah, so that's kind of some of the music that I like, um, so get out there, check it out, and, uh, fuck shit up, dude, just get out there and fucking do it, and that's it, peace.